Hello everyone, today, my today's uh, tutorial is about preliminary, prelim, preliminary sections of RZDAM. The preliminary sections of ZDAM is selected based on the experience by considering various factors as listed below. The first one is foundation condition. This first one is foundation condition and uh, uh, the next one is uh, preliminary section so the dam is selected based on uh, availability of material so section uh, will be selected based on availability of materials the other one is uh, selected based on physical properties of various material our section for impact with dam can be selected based upon physical properties of various material and the other one a matrix of construction and the construction control and uh, the other one is uh, div uh, diversion methods and construction schedule also uh, the factor for selections of preliminary sections of uh, RZDAM uh, the other one here stated in uh, climatic conditions affecting the placement moisture control and uh, equipment Subsequent moisture changes, uh, safety factors with respect to seepage, and the safety factors with respect to uh, stability. These are these are uh, various factors uh, which can be which can be uh, helpful in determining the type primary sections of uh, selected uh, data. In this section, the following parameters are decided: crest width, freeport, upstream and downstream slopes of uh, Arz Dam, settlement allowance, cutoff well in the foundation, impervious core, downstream drainage system, and provisions of free pump. Crest width. The crest width of an Arz field dam depends on uh, several considerations such as nature of impact material and minimum uh, allowable percolation distance through the, the impact at normal reservoir level uh, required uh, widths to provide impact mass for resistance to earthquake uh, the other one uh, satisfactory for minimum roadway depths with therefore this uh, is are uh, helpful for determining crest width crest width then can be calculated using uh, this equation uh, for low dams, crest width is equals to uh, dam height divided by 5, the whole plus 3. Uh, for dams lower than 30 meter, for 30 meter equals to uh, 0 .3, 0 0.55 square root of h plus 0 0.2 times h. For large dams more than 30 meter, uh, crust width equals 1.65 times h plus 1.5 the whole one third h is the height of the dam according to these equations freeport sufficient freeport could be available between the maximum water level and the top of the dam the freeport should be adequate against the wave action and the wind setup the actual freeport is actually kept as follows freeport is equals to 1.5 times uh, uh, water heights plus additional safety provision upstream downstream slopes of a dam this depends upon the types of material foundation conditions the height of the dam and etc uh, the upstream slopes of most earth dam vary from 2.5 to 1 to 4 to 2 1 and the downstream slopes are generally between 2 to 2 1 and uh, 3 to 1 for a maximum economy in the quantity of materials, the slopes should be as steep as possible. Uh, here, to maximize uh, the economy, it is good to make it steep by considering stability. However, from the stability consideration, the slopes should not be uh, excessively steep. Therefore, a compromise is made. Settlement allowance. Settlements of 
an embankment is caused by consolidation in the foundation and uh, in the field. A settlement allowance of 2% of height is considered adequate and is generally provided. However, in case of uh, dams more than 30 meter height, an extra 1% allowance is provided account, uh, to account for the settlement due to earthquake. Therefore, it tells us 3% uh, settlement allowance is needed and provided. Cut off in foundation. To reduce space through the foundation and to avoid piping pillar, a cut off is usually provided when the foundation is pervious to a moderate uh, depth. Protections of slopes. Usual types of surface protection for the upstream slope is stone reprap, either dry dumped or hand pressed. When a thin layer is used, hand reprap may be more economical than dumped reprap. The size of this uh, wrist uh, reprap stones used uh, may be determined with the following uh, formula. This is the formula. Uh, and where dm is diameters of stones uh, uh, for hand placed uh, riprap in the zones of maximum blow of the web uh, uh, where gamma of uh, w is unit weight of water in tons per meter cubed and where gamma uh, is stands for here a unit weight of stones in tor ton per uh, meter cubed where s is slope of the embankment where HW is height of wave in meter. C uh, factor depends uh, depending on the types of protection. For hand placed reprap, take C uh, uh, equals 0 0.54, and uh, whereas for rock, uh, rock feed or dumped reprap, take C as uh, 0 0.8. Average size of stones required, uh, therefore, the, uh, the, M av the average is equal to dm divided by 0 0.85 this is the average stone uh, required required size thank you my viewers thank you please don't forget to subscribe this is uh, an educational tutorial video i hope this will uh, be helpful and uh, i will post similar and uh, necessary videos which hopefully help you uh, throughout your education Carrier, thank you very much.